Hi, my name is Yulisha and I'm an educational psychologist with Annabelle Psychology Clinic. With recent changes about the COVID-19 situation, stress can actually make family members more reactive to each other and erode the quality of our relationships over time. Therefore, the current situation raises the question, how can parents cope during this prolonged period of social distancing? In week one, we spoke about three strategies, a daily routine, a created list of resources, consideration of teletherapy with our clinic as a possible avenue of assistance. In week two, we spoke about positive behavior management with the recommendation of home rules, pre-correction, specific praise, and home-based token economy. Last week, we discussed about self-monitoring as a strategy that teaches children to self-assess their behaviors independently. This week, I will speak about strategies you can use should your children still try to display inappropriate behaviors like seeking your attention constantly and refusing to do homework. As with week 2's video, I would like to caution against corporal punishment such as hitting your children. So what can we do or you do as parents? First, to reduce your children's attention-seeking behavior, you can use plan ignoring. Plan ignoring is a technique in which we make a conscious effort to ignore certain inappropriate behaviors to prevent reinforcing the unwanted behaviors of our children. This technique works best with behaviors that are designed to gain your attention. Firstly, tell your children that it's not polite for them to do so of that particular behavior. Should the unwanted behavior persist, it's important to ignore them completely. This means no eye contact or speaking to them, no making comments to other family members about your own children. Some examples for consideration are shown on the screen. Please pause the video should you need to. However, if required to ensure that your children is safe, use minimal verbal or physical redirection. Next, allowing your children to engage in appropriate replacement behaviors will help them to regulate their emotions. For example, your children can ask for more time to cool down when they get too upset. A timer set at 5 minutes can be provided where your children are to be informed by you that they are to continue with their tasks at the end of 5 minutes. In addition, it is also helpful to teach your children strategies to express feelings in an appropriate manner. As your children may lose their temper or say something that they regret, they can be taught the eye message technique. Eye messages are simple ways to communicate in any social situation. This technique allows your children to get the message across about how they feel without sounding like they are blaming you, their teacher or their peers. Eye messages provide feedback safely as they avoid put-downs, judgment or assigning blame to others. Eye messages are often used in firstly describing the behavior, next about the feeling that the behavior creates and also the effect that the behavior has. An eye message for consideration is shown on the screen. Eye messages can be delivered by saying, I feel, name the feeling, when, describe the behavior. For example, your children can identify an eye message as, I feel angry when you scold me and call me names. It is hurtful and I don't like it. To further develop your children's strengths and increase meaningful engagement at home, with your routine in place, as mentioned in week one, you can assign your children with home responsibilities such as assisting you with household chores or washing their own utensils and plates on a daily basis. More opportunities should be provided for your children to practice other essential daily living skills. Should they not be keen on household chores, do think out of the box, perhaps involving them in decorating the house, using art and craft materials, or having conversations with them on how to improve the decor of the house. Just a gentle reminder to as much as possible, create a positive and encouraging learning environment. Constant acknowledgement of your children's efforts could motivate them to display more appropriate behaviors at home as well. All right, we have come to the end of this week's video on parenting your children. In summary, I have cautioned against using punishment. Instead, the recommendations is for you 
to use plan ignoring appropriate replacement behaviors, I messages, increase meaningful home engagement, and maintain a positive home environment with constant acknowledgement of your child's efforts. I hope you have found these strategies useful. Stay safe and take care. Goodbye.